All right, it's time to install the 3000 watt pure sine wave generator in the Aho generate solar power generating station. Here's a couple extra fuses. Here we go. We're going to figure out where we're going to put this thing. That looks like a good slot for it. And I've got my gloves on. There it is. Taking a look. Okay. I think we'll slide that thing in here. Don't be don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Here it comes. Here we got some cables on it already. Push. Push it through. Here. Okay. Wiggling it. It's gonna fit. Let's see. It's a little stuff. Let's go around the back. Pull it from that side. See what the hang up is. Don't want to short any of these cables out on the other inverter. That's a 800 watt inverter sitting next to it. All right. Let's give it a little tug. Short it on those two cables. Uh, they're hot. There we go. Now, these things uh, have a capacitors in them, so it needs to be uh, brought up to the current slowly to prevent sparking with the uh, resistor. What do they call those bleed resistors? That's usually to take the, the uh, voltage off a capacitor, but uh, what do they call these charge resistors to charge them up? Just put it on cable and hold it there for a while for the uh, for a certain co time constant. It's uh, R times C. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're looking at the 800 watt inverter to see. It's got the 28 volts from the solar panels, or the solar charge controller. It has output of 121 volts. Here's the solar charge controller and two AGM batteries. So they don't uh, require any additional liquid and they don't bleed out the hydrogen gas as much. There's, there is some little vent holes in there but it's not supposed to drop out often. Okay now we're going to uh, remove the uh, negative battery post here first. You have to be careful not to hit that uh, positive on the other side with this wrench or there'll be sparks of flying. Or it might weld to that and who knows what would it melt down. Wiggle as it and a little looser. Yeah. Be careful with that wrench. Okay, twist it a little bit. Still, still pretty tight. A little bit. You can get it. a screwdriver or crowbar or something. Lift it up. Huh. Okay. Go see what we can find in the car. Get all the tools in there. <laughs> like tool central. Look in. We got uh, 
Can't find a flat screwdriver in here. Get like a Phillips head. Uh, nothing much. Uh, got a uh, crescent wrench. And I got a uh, plier. And I didn't see the pliers. What do we got? Got nothing but the wrench we started with. I'm gonna lift it up. Lift it up. Come on. I think he's gonna get it. Come on. There he's rocking it. Okay. Both hands. All hands on deck. Got it. And get this out of the way. Don't want to connect it. Maybe you can put it a little lower. He's afraid of touching the case or something. Okay, next one. I don't know. Stay there. <clears throat> okay. What are you gonna have to watch this in the shadows? What's he doing? He's got his feet spread apart for some reason. Change the foot position. Okay, now we're gonna do some shadow dancing. Okay. What's he got? Is a wrench? I think that started loosening up pretty quick. See what's going on over here. This one's coming up easier than the last one. And there she's out. Like the light she powered. We're gonna remove the uh, cables to the 800 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. It's made by the same manufacturer. It's WZRELB. I think the RELB is supposed to be short for reliable. That's a Chinese company, I think. Uh, Yang something. Easy to get to. These are thumb screws, but it didn't really hold the cable tight at the thumb screw pressure. Got that one on. Some washers that that cable was a little too uh, hole was a little too big for that connector, but it's I think just about right for this bigger. This 3000 watt inverter terminals. And what are we doing now? Getting the, the black connector? Or are we messing around with the washers on there? The one of them we drop. Don't want to lose it. I don't know if we had any lock washers with that or not. I don't think so. Pliers. Uh, name for it. I'm trying to think. I don't want to break that the plastic or phenolic or something on that nut that's uh, the thumb screw. There it is. Get this black 
negative power cable off there without dropping the washer in this cooler case. There, get the washer. Alright. I'm just going to take a look at the washers here. There's one. Now it's no washers. Do you like my Firestone hat? Uh, Gloria chose it. It was either the black hat or the Firestone hat. She suggested the black hat would get all white from the sweat. Firestone gave me the hat at the International Raceway. Three tickets to the box and box seats. Indie car races. Okay, from the General Motors tire shop gave me the tickets. Roger Mize. Goosey there with the glove. Yeah, I could have used the what do you call it? A ratchet with that thing. Instead of the stupid or a open end wrench. I should have measured this at, uh, right around this point so I could be using the correct tool instead of the crescent wrench. Is it crescent wrench? Uh, we got the adjustable wrench. Get that up. It came with the washer and a lock washer and then the Okay, we're gonna put this on the bottom. This is going to go to the 800 to cable. They're going to go to the 800 watt converter. It came with its own cable, just like one of these littler ones. But I used it uh, to connect the battery to the solar charge control. running this uh, in this box with uh, with these battery cables it's, they're pretty pretty long I, think, I thought they were 65 inches 60 inches later rides here somebody so people are signals around here to pick up rides see somebody just pulls up with their car and honks could be the bus, could be something. Regular person. A lot of people don't have cars. This is 
one idea with this inside this box was thinking of making a uh, vehicle simulator so you could travel around the world inside with eight different uh, TV sets and you'll watch it maybe take pictures of yourself like you're traveling somewhere and then eat the cuisine uh, from those areas that are being traveled to so thinking of using it like as uh, exercise uh, like so it would it would stop operating if you didn't pedal a bicycle or walk or do, or do something do some sort of exercise here's we should add the right tool there Some uh, little chihuahuas uh, peeing on her gravel and upsetting the, uh, the puppy in front of the gate. The, the, the chihuahuas kind of run rampant, chasing people around the neighborhood, barking at them. There's another Chihuahua coming to mark our territory as theirs. Trying to claim a little more land. Them so they're flat and have a good connection here right? without shorting out on the, this metal chassis of the uh, swamp cooler chassis. If there was enough clearance, we don't have to worry about it too much. I didn't grab the right wrench for this. I hate the adjustable thing. And then, well, it's right here. It's pretty tight. And there, that's about it. That's good. Now we're looking. A little on the iffy side for the, uh, the shorting thing. We'll check it out here after we push it in. 
have to be careful if we pull it back out of here at this, this distance. Yeah, it looks okay inside. What is this? This is the charge controller. Okay, and there is the uh, 800 watt inverter. Okay, we're looking at it from the top down to the uh, terminals, the plus and minus of the 800 watt inverter. The red being the plus and the black being the minus. See, a uh, single washer is on one and two on the black. Is this phenolic or something on the terminals? Two washer. Is it a fat washer? Should now two wrenches for the red one because I think it's. Uh, okay, now we're going to try to use this resistor to uh, prevent the spark, and we're we're taking the uh, charge. I guess this 800 watt inverter has some kind of charge on it, probably from the capacitor, and we're going to try to equalize that through this resistor and hold it for a little while so it. Uh, those at the same voltage so there will be no arcing hopefully it was long enough ah no it wasn't We're not hooked up to the battery yet, so...
There's a... I don't have to worry about it too much at the moment. That spark was just from what was built up in the capacitors. You want to invert her to the next, the potential. chassis up just to uh, tighten the connector in the back down. I'm not sure how it's connected with the solder or another Is the terminal tightened up. I gotta hold the one in the back. To, or I should open the chassis and tighten it up back there because this is uh, not that good. Could be a you know, loose connection or something in the back. If, or it could be okay. But I can't tighten it up very well from the front. So maybe I hold uh, in back of those two cables. to both inverters onto the battery. All right, you know what time it is, right? It's hammer time. No, no, it wasn't Joel. It was uh, the guys in the alley. Utility workers. They're looking in the like manholes. Maybe it was uh, water gas. Except they had a truck with a thing on the top. So it was something else. cable so it didn't short on the black side. The, I don't know what those little caps are going to do, but hey, 
definitely gonna have them in case I can bring them back or something. Here's the resistor. Now we're gonna see if we can we can match the equalize the potential uh, connection to these inverters. And we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, and ah it jumped, it sparked. But it got most of it I guess. out of the way, red cable. And it's what time? Hammer time. Not too hard. These AGM batteries have uh, more lead than most the regular batteries. Like rolled up lead, uh, like in a net or mesh connection. And here we go. Checking this battery. Okay, well, well, we'll try it. What's the worst can happen at a little fire? Alright, and here's the first test of the 300 watt inverter we received yesterday. 28.3 volts from the solar panel and solar charge controller, and it puts out uh, 121 volts. There's the 800 watt inverter. Well, it's still got enough, good enough connection to turn on. And now we're going to check the, uh, uh oh, be careful not to push that up against the back. And then, oh, when you hold it, it that's hot. There's a, across those three terminals, that's like bare wire, 120 volts. Be careful. Okay, now, be careful. It's hot. It's hot, too. You know it's too. Let's see how much it drops, the voltage, when we turn on this. Drill. It up. Okay, voltage went down to about 26 on the input. This is the CR charge controller, what it does. Okay, it's at uh, 28, it goes down to 26. Might have seen 25 in there. That's the current it's using is pulling down that voltage. Okay, now it's going to try to take the screws out of here so I can screw in the plastic cap so I don't kill myself on these three hot terminals. Here's some screws in there, but it, I don't know what's going on. Like loosen it up a little bit. Loosen up. There we go, loosen up. Use, use, and nothing going. <laughs> nothing happening. Now we can't tighten it. Do we loosen it? No, we can't tighten it. We're we gonna have to open this one too. Try a bigger scooter. I can feel something. It's a loose. There's nothing really. Just spinning, no other, no, no movement in or out. I don't know. Let's try it again. What's going on? Let's spin, spin. Do you like my gloves? What do you think? Got them for Christmas. Josh got them for Rachel.
do now? Hmm. We just look at this inverter. What do you see? Oh, there goes the screwdriver. <laughs> Who's that? plastic terminal block holder thing. See how it works. Thought it was gonna a screw was gonna hold it down, but let's let's investigate. Dog's barking at the utility guys. They're pulling up the little Manhole covers, itty bitty ones. Looking at something. Did you hear that? I heard it. It's got a, uh, what do you call it, vest on? Yes. Reflective vest. Oh, here's a plastic thing there. There's no threads. It's like a little plastic plug that you can just push in there. Original state of screwiness. Not really doing anything. So we'll just leave it as it is. I guess. And we're gonna put on both gloves here so we don't shock ourselves with any residual voltage. I need to screw down that 3000 thing so it doesn't slide around when I'm pushing a plug in. Quite a bit of current here, so I think that terminal is probably got a good enough connection. Careful. Take it off. Get that voltage drop down. I think we're done. 